Like, this was like before COVID, okay, guys? So I was gonna go out with my friends. And there was like hundreds of people waiting, everybody. I was like, and I was like, is that the interest of the club? Oh, no, it's the. 안녕하세요. 저는 영국에서 온 에미라가 온다. Woo! Food, my friends, the people I've met, the people I've been able to meet. I already said that about 15 times. And also like the how many places I've been able to go to. So things like transportation. Because actually I love how free I am to go everywhere. So then of course transportation is probably something that I also really like about Korea as well as other things. Yeah. So actually today one of the things I'm going to talk about is how good the bus system is in Korea. Which most Koreans might not be able to recognize but it's actually really really good. So in Korea, you can literally see what buses there are, when they're coming, the number to them. Yeah, what time it's coming, it shows like, it's like you can see if it's empty or full of people. That's so weird that you can see how many people there are inside the bus. I've never seen this anywhere else in my life, in my life, like ever. Um, small bus stops, no. I've seen it in really big bus stops. Have I? I don't think, especially in the countryside, I've never seen it. Or like in London, neither have I seen it in London. No, not really. There's some places I've seen it some places, but it's mostly for trains in the UK, like the times. In the UK, yes, because buses are much cheaper than trains. Like trains are extremely expensive in the UK. Like the underground is really, really expensive, but you can take the bus, which is much cheaper. Or your bicycle everywhere. In England, you can't have that in the UK. It's a wonderful invention in Korea. It's gonna get stolen. In the UK, if you do that in the UK, by far. You leave it there to charge, you look back, it's gone. It's like a fair, it's like magic. It's like, it's gone. In Korea, no one will touch it. That's the thing, I still don't understand how there's not more people stealing stuff in Korea. I'm always like expecting people to steal something, but no one ever does. It's like literally, I've once dropped Oman on the floor and someone was like, oh, you have money. And I'm like, yeah. You should keep it, you know? It's like, you found it. It's like, I don't know, I found that to be great. No. Not because I know it's gonna be gone. You have team money with like a limited amount of money. You can always see how much money you have. And you know when you've literally put it to zero and then the next stop is gonna cost you a bit more money. Once I had that in Incheon, because I left, I had zero ways of putting more money into my card. I got to, to Incheon and then when I arrived at Incheon, I didn't have money to leave. So I was just like, stuck inside but Korea is so cheap the transportation is so ridiculously cheap oh but you know how in the end of the month you can just see it being like you man on two man on you're just like Oof. that's a lot of money coming out of my bank account in the end it's like everything's connected that's the thing the buses are connected with the trains and I'm really interested in actually how they've actually connected everything together because for example the bus if you go to the bus the train knows that you can to the bus I just find that fascinating it is easy if you have apps because I think if a foreigner just comes here and sees all the bus numbers and stuff it looks confusing especially like in even Gangnam or stuff like that you have like several buses arriving right and they all have different things and you don't know where the bus is gonna stop exactly and the thing is like running everywhere the thing is I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a scaredy cat if I'm just taking the train I'm just taking the train and if I'm taking the bus I'm taking one bus because I'm just so afraid that I miss the station of my bus like my train I have to stop here in the bus to get this train then I, and I'm just like a bit afraid of that it is really simple but I don't have the confidence but you have to take the bus first for it to be cheaper don't you, you have to be bus and then train because if you go to the train first it's gonna take that money away so you have to go to the bus first and then the train it's like on cheaper. Korea is mad. Like in the summer, you guys have aircon booths where you can just sit inside and be all nice and comfortable. And in the winter, you have heated seats. Do you understand how ridiculous this sounds for an English person? In winter, you die. In summer, you die. You don't have a choice. If you have a shade, you're lucky. Especially, you know, when it's so hot and you just open it and you're like, oh, and the seat, and then you sometimes take your gloves off and just put your hands on the seat. Because there's not enough space. Thing is, uh, like the actual bus stops are really small. It's sometimes just like a little pole with nothing else. It's just a pole, and that's the bus stop. It's like literally written bus stop in a like in a sign. But we don't have enough space to put anything else on there. And in the UK, the seats are made so that people can't sleep on them. So sometimes the seats are like this because they don't want homeless people to sleep on the seats. So you literally can't even sit on them properly. You have to, you're, you're sitting like this. In the UK, we have barriers as well. So it's like one person, a block, so that no person can actually sleep across it to stop homeless people. I haven't really seen a lot of homeless people in Korea, which is something really interesting because it is a developed country, but then so is the UK and all the other countries I've been to and all of them would have a homeless problem. So the thing is, still in Korea, you can still get the hand sanitizing. And do you understand how mad this is for someone who, in England, there was a shortage of hand sanitizing gel. We couldn't get it. And in Korea, everywhere in public, you just like, you could literally spray yourself with it. It was a bit shocking.
working on how well paired Korea was for this and how it was just so well organized. Back in the day, they used to give you free masks outside. And I remember, especially when there was a mask shortage, there were people in public places giving out masks. Like I remember in, I think it was Hapjong, there were people outside just being like, oh, mask on up, I was like, that was really interesting. Korea was ridiculously prepared. I just still don't understand how they would manage to be this prepared, but like how organized you guys were, it was incredible. In Gangnam, wow, I remember sometimes I was just like, I thought it was like a shop opening or something because I saw this huge line. Like the main street was like massive. This was like before COVID, okay guys? So I was going to go out with my friends. And I was like, is that the entrance to the club? And then she was like, oh no, it's the bus stop. <laughs> and it was like hundreds of people waiting. Everybody, I was like, how many buses stop there? But I was just like, everybody was just patiently waiting their turn. Everybody's just on the phone. I find it to be a bit really interesting. If I had to stand in these lines, I would be a bit confused. Which line do I have to stand in? So the stickers on the floor are telling people to line up in the different positions and where to line for what buses. That is 100% something that would never exist in the UK whatsoever. I don't know, unless there's a ridiculous amount of people, people don't really make a huge line like that. Which Koreans, I think they prefer things to be organized and they follow rules better than English people do. So I think that's why they do that. Imagine if I tried to cut in line, my God, I would be <laughs> minus one young woman in Korea. In Korea, people will shout at you, be like, yeah, yeah. But in the UK, people will be like, oh. God, they actually cut in line. Other thing is like you have Wi-Fi in all the buses, which is like really, really fascinating. Uh, I remember sometimes you almost want to just take the bus for the wife. Korea didn't save money. In the UK, it's really old and they had to kind of keep it um, the way it was. Um, so you have like one pole in the middle of nowhere to be the bus stop, for example. And we also have a homeless people problem in the UK, which Korea does not have. The UK has a lot of problems, which stops them from being able to develop these things for the convenience of the people. It's clean, new, it uh -huh. smells good. It's something that would be almost unbelievable in other countries. So today I actually talked about Korean's transportation system and the buses specifically. If you actually liked the video, please like, subscribe, write in the comments, and see you next time. Bye! <laughs>